It's called Advanced Answering Techniques. So it is three professional people explaining to other people how to answer different questions, a multiple variety of questions. Advanced Answering Techniques. Hello and welcome to Advanced Answering Techniques. I'm your host, Josh, one of your hosts, and I'm joined by a couple of co-hosts. Here's the first one, Caleb. Hi. And there's the other one, it's Gabe. <laughs> it's Gabe. Hi. Hi. I'm Gabe. Hi, guys. Um, wow. What a week. What a week. For me. Caleb yeah. was in Las Vegas. Lucky yes. Vegas. Sinless in Sin City. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to quote, can, with that, did that, not that, commit any sins. No yeah. sins. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Sin wow. Caleb's I was immaculate impressed. week. Yeah. I was in, impressed. In Vegas. You know, Impressive. And it, it could be maybe influenced by the fact that I saw people committing a lot of sins. Yes. Yeah. And so maybe I'm kind of overlooking on some your of my, scale. You're like placing be. yourself proportionally yeah. next to these but people. But it's basically right. none for me. Yeah. 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 Right. Very, yeah. very few sins. I Just really quickly on basically. Las Vegas, I am yeah. going to have to quote our good friend Stephen here yeah. and say, I, I like to call it lost wages. Right. But that wouldn't be true right. for me. Right. Because I didn't gamble. You didn't at gamble all. at all. At I, all. I, That's impressive. Uh, for our listeners, I did try to tell Caleb. Go gamble. Yes. I thought uh-huh. you did. He idea. was trying to. He has a personality he? that I don't think is susceptible <laughs> <laughs> to, to things like Just shiny gambling. screens and yeah. money signs. <laughs> yeah, these shiny yeah. screens can give me money. <laughs> it was wild, but I do like to be different than people too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, That's so I go there, and it's like, yeah. oh, the it's like uh, all these, you know, the 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 uh, the cattle that are all you mm. know, okay steered into their. Yeah. Into their their channels and their wallets, their, their little their wallets they, like are a paddock stakes. of a paddock of lottery, you know, machines yes. yeah. Yeah. where you can go graze. Yeah, and uh, but you can also go graze and expend a lot of yeah. money and not not be full. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sit there in your own <laughs> way. Yeah. Yes, I did smoke inside the Bellagio. That's oh, okay, nice. cool. Because I was like, hey, one in Rome. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's close enough. Honestly. Don't gamble. No, but right. smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Wow, good. that's that's impressive though. I mean I saw I'm, a woman there, a yeah. sixty year old woman walking around the Bellagio, light up sneakers. Oh, oh. Yeah. blue light up sneakers. Yeah. Sort of a slot machine on, on foot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If yeah. you will. Yeah. yeah. Yikes. In some way. It's a wild world there. Yeah. I learned what ace means. A Y C. It's like a card. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Did too. you? Yeah. A Y C E. All you can eat. Um, it is about all excess ever. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, and people. There's there's open container laws, so there's just people walking around drinking beers. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's such a insane demographic of people. You're like, oh man, everyone really likes to gamble. Yeah. yeah. Every kind of person. Every kind of person. Yeah. It's the great the French, equalizer. especially though. I feel like I heard overheard ah. a lot of French. Yeah. Are they French or are they, you know, just Francophile people? It could be. It yeah. could be that they're not actually French. Francophile, yeah. Belgian. Yeah, that's what I meant. Not Francophile. Well, but yeah, hopefully I mean, they're Francophile. I think actually, I did see that more people or fewer people speak French in France than in um, uh, Africa. French Guyana, or, something. or whatever. Yeah, 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 something like that. So it's like, like wow. France is not the the headquarters. It's not the French HQ anymore. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That they moved the HQ. Yeah. It had to be, yeah, they had to move it to Africa. Francophone. That sounds like a good. Sounds like a kind of phone that I would use to talk to <laughs> maybe some kind of leader of Spain. Yeah. I, well, I, I think that's. I, I was going to say Frank Caliendo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, was gonna say, I would love to hear him do, say, a Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. I was going to say that that's how James and Dave keep. Uh, Keep in touch. Franco. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Franco phone. That's yeah. who I was trying to think of. Yeah. Yeah. No? I just, I just, it's kind of fun, this podcast, because you get to see how jokes are created. <laughs> yeah. Let's you get can, to see can how actually, some of the less funny none jokes of us, are created. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> how excellent us, humor look, is crafted. We all know none of us could actually make a joke by ourselves. Right. Oh, we okay, require yeah. the help of the other two. Absolutely. If you've ever talked to us in person and there's not the yeah. two other guys, yeah. you know... That it's just very awkward. Yeah, it um, might just be a lot set of ups. attempts. It's just, <laughs> just <laughs> set up. It seems like sometimes just you're like, setups. was that a punchline? <laughs> yeah. But there was yeah. no setup. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's just yeah. punchlines, yeah. and you're just confused yeah. the whole time. Yeah. 
Yeah. How that many... happens a lot. One, th- uh, one thing, sorry, Gabe, uh, that I've been it's noticing. It's fine. We'll get back to it. As I've been <laughs> trying to um, go through and create some clips. Okay. Because we're, we're, we love our current listeners, but mm-hmm. we're thinking maybe if we put clips upgrade, yeah. upgrade of the podcast. Well, maybe our out, listeners are lonely and they could use some more friends. They could use more friends. We'll bring them into the podcast. Yeah. So, I, so I've been going through and trying to find clips. Boy, does it take us a long time. Because <laughs> <laughs> to, like, to they have to be around a minute. Right? To find something that's like a discreet minute that, <laughs> that's not built on 50 callbacks. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm is, thinking uh, about that now. Is uh, it's so this time, Josh? Uh, clip heavy episode. Clip heavy. Yeah. I'm gonna. Well, that's what I'm I was make wondering. Clip heavy. Do you think we could just right now just make make a, some clip, just make create a clip, a clip Let's right do it. now? Yeah. It's uh, really how like, many Stevensons does it take to screw in a punchline? Three. Yeah, usually that's a good clip. We've had four on here before in the past, and that so but that didn't go so well. Yeah, no. So okay. that's one. So that would be one clip. Okay, that's a clip. what we've made so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay, another clip. Let's do. Let's be topical. Boy, a selection this week. It was last week. Uh, yeah. Good clip. Got <laughs> another, another clip. That's a clip. <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that was called, a clip. It's the ti- the title of the clip is Caleb's election <laughs> confusion. <laughs> Or sorry, Caleb's short lived <laughs> election <laughs> confusion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe succinctly corrects. Caleb. Yeah, well yeah, but doesn't that way succinctly it can be title the clip. <laughs> that could be generic enough that we could use it for a lot of clips, yeah. probably. That's great. <laughs> and that's fully on topic as we get into this week's question yeah. from uh you know, I would say question super submitter. One Justin Hatcher. Justin. This just in. J- this just in. You're listening to a clip from Justin. Uh, in the country I'm living in, there is a presidential uh, presidential uh, election going on right now, and I was wondering if you were running for president, what would your slogan be? Thanks, guys. I always appreciate. It. Okay. Right there. I have something right out of the gate. Yeah, go for it. The country he's living in. Yeah. Right now, there's an election going on. Right. Could not be the United States then. That's true. Now. Now. Right. If 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 it was not the case that we received that, of course, many weeks ago. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. always on the cutting edge. And I we see. and we're and we are or I am incapable of say looking through the uh, allotted uh, questions in our inbox. And just, I he had an American flag. I could have gone. This might be <laughs> topical, <I'm> sensitive. <laughs> um, and I uh, just didn't. And yeah. um, so we are dealing with Justin's question slightly behind the eight ball here. I wonder why he's so. Um, what is, what's the word like? Timid to say the country. Here's he's here's yeah. something Maybe I was just be generic. Okay, kind of I was field. worried. I don't. We don't really know what Justin's employment situation is. True. And I did notice that the quality of this recording <laughs> is maybe the lowest yeah. quality recording we've ever received. Um, and I was wondering if if something has happened and he's recording. Maybe on. You remember we used to have one of those um, like play school tape recorders. Mm-hmm. You know, that you could, it was really cool because you could get it to distort and feedback yeah. really easily. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, one of the cheapest microphones you can imagine. Yeah. And uh, it sounds like something, he's recording this question on something like that. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah. yeah I yeah. think that's a safe bet. Uh, while he's driving. While he's driving. He's got Certainly the while he's school with the like <laughs> coiled uh, yeah. wi- uh, wire. Yellow that goes, cord. Yeah, yellow cord that goes, it's exactly right, yellow. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yellow with a white microphone and yellow top. I don't know. Yeah, there's red. some red in there. The red yeah. microphone's red, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're really curious, you probably Google it. Yeah. S- yeah, search. so curious listeners. Okay. And that's yeah. a clip, too. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, what was the... Should we redo it? Uh, yeah, maybe we should. You said they could Google it. Let's take it. it. Let's have curious. another... Okay, it's, it's red. The microphone's red. No, no, no. We got to set it up a little more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe Justin was recording that his. Qu- 
maybe Justin was recording his question on one of those old play school oh, tape yeah. recorders. Do With you remember? With the yellow cord for the red microphone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you're curious, you could Google what it looks like. And That's clip, a clip. Clip. <laughs> Great. We're getting pretty We're getting good, good at, at the clips. <laughs> Eventually, uh, uh, how long they are, they're getting better, they're getting yeah. shorter. Right. If only we could make them funny, I feel like that would be the most effective I think we change. do have to start making clips, right. and then we'll get to where they're yeah, funny. Yeah, they're actually they're funny. Actually I think that's part funny. of it. Um, yeah. Slogans. Yeah, so what kind of a slogan mm-hmm. would you go for? I was going to say, right off the bat, yeah. he ended it with a slogan right. that slogan. I think yeah. would would work absolutely is like i always appreciate always and appreciate. you have this sort of like i'm a um, you know i'm a caring person yep. and like that's tied up in it but also as we've talked about before yep. it is like appreciating in value, value. Yeah. it's Gains increasing in value. it's gaining you know there's there's something there yep. so um yeah i mean i i think that would work maybe you'd want to bring the people in on this and right. say we always appreciate yeah. We always, always appreciate. appreciate. Yeah. yeah. Or something, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. could that could work. So yeah. maybe that's an option for Justin. Appreciate's a hard one to get in a chant, I feel like. Uh, or um No, 2468, who do yeah. we appreciate? It's one of the it most is, famous chants. It is like a classic <laughs> one. of all time. Yeah, but yeah. they you don't know how long they work to get that. Yeah. It's obvious to us now. That's true. I'd say it's 2020. Hard. Yeah. I mean, it's like fire where you're, you're like, duh. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It is definitely part of, one of like it's the most common if, chance that we've ever done. If you but learn a chant <laughs> when you're a kid. Take? Look, that just came out like 20 years ago. I so don't like, think so, dude. That's all of human history to get to the point. Yeah. It's been, it's, it's true. It's not like, the, it's not like Romans. We're, you know, defeating the Gauls. They didn't even know what a zero was. Romans yeah. didn't even yeah. know what a zero was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. They probably had no word for yeah. two, four, six, or eight. <laughs> and that's probably why Nero got elected. Yes. Because they, they hadn't made the rhyme yet. Right. Yeah. Of like, you vote for Nero, you're a zero, or I mean, you know, yeah. something yeah. like if that. If you know your Roman history, we know that Nero was not elected. He wasn't but... democratically elected? <laughs> no. They didn't democratically elect their Caesars? No. Not Some of them. One. Not Some of one. them. Uh, but I would like to see Nero's campaign. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I thought I could maybe get us started off. I did come up with some slogans. I saying that these are slogans is not exactly accurate. They're kind okay. of more like short ads that you might see, okay, on, yeah. see yeah, here yeah. on the radio. Okay. I yeah. guess mine mine kind of fits in that my yeah, poem yeah, that yeah. I wrote yeah. kind of fits in that frame too. And I would say um, I'll do the I'll do we'll see who this might be for. See if okay. you can guess okay. who this Ooh, one's for. Right. This is good. Tired of finishing sentences? Save your words. Put them in an urn. Save your breath. It's his turn. Hmm. This is this is one uh, of you tra- two. Oh, this uh, is one oh. of you two. Oh, oh I was yeah, like, well, I was doing, I, I was doing slogans it's me. for you guys. For us. It's me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Caleb. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Caleb. me. Tired of finishing yeah. sentences? Vote Caleb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> hey, and I'll start things that, that was yeah. I'll start things that yeah. I won't finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I mean, you're just being honest at, about the politicians, you know, sort of the how, how those things normally go for politicians. That's right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Start a bunch of stuff. Don't finish it. Don't mm-hmm. finish it. Or say make I'll, promises. Say I'll do it. Yeah. You Don't start something, I come in and I claim it for my own. Yeah. 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 Right. Speaking of claiming it for his own, um the I I want to do another one. Um you know, recently on the on the podcast, even though I'm on, you know, on my my Twitter bio for for years now. Yes, I'm called a. I called myself a competitive poet. Mm. You know, um, and um, and uh, and actually, I can verify that it's been there for a long time because one time I tweeted something to Robert Popper, <gasps> British comedian Robert Popper, yeah. and he retweeted me and said, "Someone who describes himself as a competitive poet." has to be worth following. Oh, wow. wow. That's awesome. Did he follow you? Um, I don't know if he follows. Oh. I don't know if he follows me, but he but he re, but he did retweet That's me. That's big. Yeah. That is big. Um and um and so anyway, so I'm you know kind of a Robert Popper acknowledged poet. Yeah. That's pretty But but there's kind of been a pretender to the throne. I feel like someone who's kind of, you know, uh, kind of biting off uh, what I've been chewing, yeah, 
mm. you know. Yeah. Um, and Wait, um, they're biting off of what you I've been chewing. I, I started a sentence. Okay. I would think it would make more sense for them to chew, somehow chew something you bit that off. That I bit off. That's yeah, good. Yeah, That's good. Yeah. Whoever this is sounds like a real sick freak. Yeah. yeah. Right. They're somehow getting inside hey, what, your mouth hey, and yeah, biting the hey, things in your mouth. Hey, what are you chewing mouth. on there? Give me a bite. Yeah. <laughs> a little baby bird. So here's, here's um, my slogan, as it were. The world is dangerous. We need a risk taker who doesn't look back. He will literally steal the thing that you do that makes you <laughs> distinctive, even though you own a gun. A vote for Gabe is a vote for reckless courage in the face of certain destruction. Oh, my. So who I don't is like that it for? So much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't really like that one. It's threatening. It feels threatening. <laughs> but I, why, oh, really? I, that's that's weird. What, what, what about it seemed threatening? Uh, there was, like, a mention of a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A reckless courage, like it, there's something admirable about that, yeah. but also like it implies that there, you know, the other shoe will drop Is, at uh, some yeah, point. Yeah. So yeah. the foot has been re interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yes, I'll the gun. But the I gun do. Foot. I mean, I I liked. Um, yeah, I, li I liked it. I yeah. didn't like it, but I did like it. <laughs> you didn't like it for you, but you no. did like it for, for some, somebody yeah. else. For, for another like, pairing of people, right. you know, if there's a, two poets. Yeah. You know, and one is kind of kind of old and like has like been doing it for a while and is a little maybe I don't know. I'm just going to say like is maybe just things have just I don't know, maybe have just gone a little stale or something. Uh -huh. And now uh -huh. there's this fresh new voice on the scene that is perhaps maybe a little bit, uh, you know, it's worrying to this other individual. If there's another pairing of people out there that yeah. do a podcast together, it might work. And they're kind of trying to come up with slogans for each other. Right. Yeah. Then that might that work would for be, that That situation. would work. Yeah. That is kind of how I think of us is we're kind of making the fodder for other podcasts to be successful with. Yeah, that's true. We're sort of setting up ideas yeah. that other people can, you know, yeah, Look like the Absolutely. rocket ship, it needs oxygen and other stuff to pull in as it's lifting off. Yes. Right, you know, it needs to burn all of this carbon to get going. Right, there's go. it, it, and <laughs> what does that have to do with what we're talking about at all? Like, it's just we're just that fodder. We're just that. Uh, we're just that stuff getting pulled into oh, these engines. So another rocket. So ship. another podcast rocket yeah. ship. Rocket ship podcast can launch yeah. off and you know go mess around on. Venus or something. Go yeah. to Mars. Why not just occupy Mars? Yep. Oh, closer dude. than the sun. Yeah. I, yeah. Josh, I got someone you should talk to if you're interested in that. In the Mars thing? <laughs> sort of thing. Occupying Mars. Yeah. If he can take his eyes off Twitter for a second. Or Diablo. Or Oh, yeah. really? One of the top 20 players in Diablo in the world. He's a great he's, Elon he's a great Musk Diablo. Wow. Player. It's great. Good for him, man. <laughs> man. Good stuff. It is too bad that. Yeah, anyway. It does feel a little bit like, uh, you know, when uh, the prophet Nathan comes to David mm. and, um, and and says that you've, you know, stolen this man's one lamb. Yeah. Yes. It feels a little bit like, why do you also why, have why to you yeah. gotta do that yeah. too? Yeah. Right. Why do you also have to be great at Diablo? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he feels convicted yeah. by it. Yeah. He stops playing Diablo yeah. so much. Yeah. Or just changes his gamer tag. <laughs> yeah. He like invites the other like the you know, the you know, seventeenth best one in and is like, No, no, you play, you play for a little while. And yeah. the guy's like, No, I'm not gonna you know, it's like Uriah. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, you go. I'm not gonna yeah. no, oh, look, maybe I need to you be can yeah. bump more. me yeah. out of yeah. Right. yeah, he's like, right. No, the other guys you gotta give the other guys the same chance or something. Yeah. I wouldn't have done drunk. the seventeenth, I would have done the twenty first. Yeah. No, but he said he's in the top twenty. I didn't know what his actual ranking is. Yeah. But I mean it would it's have 17. to somebody from they would just switch places if he was within the it would have to be somebody come in from outside of the twenty yeah. the top twenty okay. and bump him out. It's yeah. a good point. I can't <laughs> argue with it. Like Anything below twenty. <laughs> I, I listen. <laughs> you're right. I made a mistake. Yeah, I'm People. over. I'm over it. I hope you guys can get mm -hmm. over it as quickly as I forgave myself. Yeah, yeah. No, I think the audience wants to listen to more tortured <laughs> metaphors about Elon Musk. And Comparing and Elon David. Musk to King David, the man after <laughs> God's own heart, and and uh. you know, there's something else that's disturbing about it which is like a video game and a woman like that's <laughs> yeah. not that's no, not good oh yeah i get either. to play the video yeah. game yeah, yeah it's yeah. not good yeah. it isn't good we yeah. don't endorse that yeah we don't do you guys have you slogans mine? for yourselves yes i figured why rewrite the wheel mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so right. what so 
So did you say um, rewrite? Like yeah, like, why rewrite the wheel? Because you can write a wheel. You can. You can like true it. True, like, the, true wheel. the wheel. No, no, I mean W R I T E. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I <Right. laughs> <Totally> was wrong. <laughs> I'm speaking with intention here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm loving it. Good. It's my campaign slogan. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so you're running on a platform of status quo. You're like it's already good. I'm loving it. We're gonna keep it going. Um, yeah. Well. Yes. For for people who take it that way and want it to be that way. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Flexible. So this is yes. meant to be fully contextless. Yes. <laughs> Completely. The <laughs> ad would be yeah. like yeah. Caleb. Caleb. I'm loving I'm it. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of like uh it's like I, for one I'm I'm loving running to be yeah. president. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, this is completely brand new to me and I don't know anything <laughs> about this stuff. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Hmm. I'm getting to fly around, do stump <laughs> speeches. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. So do you, you don't think there's going to be any issues with that? Is it enough of a different space okay, from fine. the fast I'm food loving space? This. I'm loving this. Okay. I'm loving this. Yeah, yeah. I'm loving this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's here's, a good here's a pitch just to put a little bit more distance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I think it still keeps the yeah. campaign on brand and on message. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't see any problem with it. And then listen, I don't yeah. think so either. I, yeah. I think just as if you wanted to add one more word. <laughs> okay. I don't know. And just make it kind of like push towards something like substance, <laughs> something like a direction. <laughs> push towards something like a direction, not a I campaign. It's just America around. I, I I would say just say I I love this America. Oh okay okay. <laughs> I was gonna say country. Yeah, you could <laughs> say that. Too. Yeah, but that, that works. Yeah. yeah, country would uh, maybe be good maybe combine them. I love this American country. Mm -hmm. You could. I think just keeping the country is good because then yeah. it's generic enough. I could run for president in a bunch of different countries. Bunch of different, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or sell the merch to other people who are running in a different country. Yeah, it's true. I'm making merch. So, I'm so, so I'm imagine. <laughs> so you're making merch, and in order to kind of keep that space open, you're printing it with basically like a blank face. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> that could be anybody, <laughs> right? Because it's like, look, I want you to vote for me, but we don't know who's going to be president. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be me. <laughs> I, could, I would love for this to be my face. Be yeah. I would me. love for this spot to be my face, yeah. but yeah. I'm not going to be. You know, yeah. I don't. I'm not going to buy this election. Yeah, right. It's too expensive. Oh, so expensive. no. I want to sell merch, not no. buy elections. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's part of the idea. It's like you know, a lot of people run to be president who don't really want to be president. Yeah, and they just they do it to get the book deals yeah yep yeah yeah exactly i'm only in this for the lucrative <laughs> book deals for, to get involved in print yeah. publishing yes. <laughs> or the, merch yeah hey remember when i ran for president <laughs> you're at a fish That's concert a, buy my merch you're at the lot scene at a fish concert <laughs> hanging out your, i like how quickly your your slogan goes from i'm loving it to hey remember when i ran for president <laughs> Well, I didn't, yeah, no, I wouldn't change. That would be, <laughs> that's not going to be the slogan. I think that that's just be, what I'm going to be telling people that I'm selling yeah. it to. I would be interested in just seeing somebody whose campaign slogan is, hey, remember what I read for press? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> remember, remember how, remember? yeah, the antics I got up to, I'd yeah. do some other antics. And nice just thing is, various antics. I, you know, I maybe I might go make some fries at Wendy's or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. I mean, they support it works. adoption. It, it's a pretty They support tactic. adoption. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a slogan, but I did write a poem. Let's hear that poem, Gabe. There's I a slogan. suppose. There's a slogan in the poem. Mm. Trash for Congress. Hi, my name is Edward Trash, and I'm run running for Congress. Trust me, when I get in there, I'm going to start throwing out all the stuff you don't like. Pick an issue, and I'll throw it out faster than last month's Cosmopolitan. Start texting me ideas. My number is 555-55-TRASH. This election, vote trash for office to take the garbage out of our politics. I'm Edward Trash, and I approve this message. Love it. That's great. So take the garbage out of our politics. Vote trash. Vote trash. 
Vote, Vote trash. trash. Um, there, it does have an extra. There's an extra letter in trash for the last four. Oh, did I do five five? I meant five five five. Oh, five, maybe five, I missed it. I, I probably missed it. I might have said five 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 trash, but it's five 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 okay. five five. Good, trash. yeah. This is good. Clip That's it. Great. This That's is a great, great clip. Yeah. So call that number. Te- or start start sending texts uh, with ideas about issues to whatever that number is. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't look at the keyboard to see what or you know keypad yeah. to see what it is. Uh-oh. And so and so that would be your um, your slogan. There was vote trash. Vote trash for office to take out the garbage of the. Sorry, to vote trash for office to take the garbage out of our politics. Yes. So, what is the difference between trash and garbage? I guess. Uh, slime. Which one? Which okay. one? I I think I have an idea of which one has more slime. But which one do you? Think I think has garbage more slime. has yes, more slime. Yes, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. I think garbage. Garbage has it's wetter. Trash There's, has more it's paper. Wetter than trash. trash is, is paper. Is mostly paper. trash yeah, is potentially definitely. like if you were to reach your hands into a trash can yeah. and pull the trash out, you could maybe get it all or very close to all of it. It, yeah. Like in your hands, just holding it all together. Yeah. You wouldn't be afraid Bunching to it. clutch it close. Yeah. To no, you. no. Like the worst slime, you know, most slime adjacent thing you could get is ink. like maybe a piece of gum or ink. Yeah, yeah or ink toner. Or, stick or I was or thinking maybe tack. some paper. Sticky tack, blue maybe tack. Maybe some yeah. some paper has soaked up some coffee. Yeah. yeah. Tea oh, paper. that's true. Yeah, yeah. something might get like some that. Coffee on there. Yeah, and then um, yeah, garbage is definitely. Different Ooh. ball game. You're not going to want to use hands to no. pick that up. It's no. actually already in the bag, yeah. so just take it out it's, with the bag. It's I mostly the food. In. It's mostly yeah. food, and I'm thinking it does have some syringes and needles. Syringes? Yes. And like just <laughs> yep. Loose syringes. Yeah. yeah. The garbage, yeah. it's dangerous. and yeah. it's like Don't touch it. <laughs> it's basically glass, food, and needles is yeah. what garbage yeah. is. Get your chain mail gloves on mm-hmm. and don't touch it. No, yeah. Chain mail, huh? Chainmail gloves, they're good for if you have that's something. Not, that doesn't protect you against a syringe, I don't think. You think it could get, I guess that's true. It's just going to get yeah. between the links. It's just going to like secure it inside of your finger or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Once, you, <laughs> once, okay. it's it, once it has penetrated your yeah. finger, it's, it's kind of locked in. Would like yeah. a ranch glove, like a not made out of ranch dressing can. Oh, yeah. But yeah. like a ranch. Good, good, good. Hand good glove. instinct, Gabe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It w- I don't think a glove made out of ranch dressing would protect your finger from syringes. <laughs> but what about this idea? This gave me a great idea. Okay. You know how they have fruit leather, ranch leather, ranch <laughs> leather. <laughs> I, Dehydrated ranch I know dressing, they... <laughs> easily accessible. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. own vacuum you sealed. Could, yeah. You could. R- you could, yeah. if you're hungry, you could just unroll, <laughs> unroll some ranch, <laughs> some DI. You want it ranch by the foot, dude? You have, and it looks like a measuring tape because yeah. I don't know. You're at a ranch measuring stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got to measure this fence. Give me that <laughs> yeah. ranch roll up. Good thing these things come in segments of 25 feet in length. Yeah, it's and it tastes exactly like it smells. Yeah. it tastes exactly <laughs> like the length that it is. But um, the I was thinking maybe if you had that ranch leather, you could, instead of having to dip a french fry into the ranch, <laughs> oh. you could wrap some of the ranch leather around it and mm. then pour water all over the french fry, and then it becomes dip again. Yeah. And then it's like Ooh, rehydrated just a nice dip. soggy french fry. I was thinking reverse dip. the whole thing, get some ranch leather, cut okay. it into strips like fries, <laughs> make a slurry out of fries, <laughs> <laughs> dip the ranch <laughs> into the See, fry I, slurry. That's what I you said. Know. That's the kind of out of the box thinking <laughs> yes. that I would nominate. Yeah. And I love vote this. For. I love this. <laughs> I'm loving this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. And I also had an idea for ranch gloves okay. where you dip your hands into ranch <laughs> yeah. and then there's like a tray of french fries <laughs> out and then you just roll your hands in the french fries and just start eating off of your hands. Just, yeah. I want whatever. more foods that's yeah. like <laughs> for interactive foods, yeah. or it's yeah. like a what are the like a fondue glove? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> well, it's just there's fondue, but instead of having to use those, you know how you constantly gay, burn your uh, hands forks. when you stick them into fondue, right? Well, you don't have to use the forks anymore. Now you can just step. Yeah. 
You can just stick your glove in and yeah. like lick the chocolate off your yeah. Glove. <laughs> well, yeah. What I, cheese, or, chocolate or cheese, chocolate or cheese. So I'm thinking you would have the glove itself is mm-hmm. is a meat glove. Okay. Okay. Um, and you can stick it into the fondue and then, or a bread glove, yeah. or whatever, or a yes. strawberry glove. Yeah. Yes, I, or I'm strawberry glove. Thinking a lot about when Homer goes to see a football game with Flanders, gets a nacho hat, mm. and as a child seeing that, I was like, "That yeah. is compelling." That's a nacho awesome. hat. Nacho hat is an, a hat made of nacho or out of tortilla chips, boiled right. nacho cheese on, in the top of yeah. the hat. Yeah, so you break and off a break bit, off a dip piece, it in the, and then it's, you it's brilliant. It. it reminds me of like those bread bowls, you know. Right, yeah, bread gloves. You, I mean, this is like, oh, oh bread bowl. I've got all this mustard laying around. I can put make pretzel gloves and dip the pretzels into there and chomp. I mean, that sounds good. It does sound. I good. like it. So I want to. Uh, whenever Gabe does a poem, I do like to make sure that um, he has an opportunity to kind of see what good poetry is is like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he can have something to aspire right. to. Kind of like that rocket ship fodder thing where That's it's right. like i need some you know i'm ascending i'm in right. this, this this you know i'm I'm going to the. Oh, stars. that's so interesting that you thought about it going yeah. that way because I was thinking about it the other way. Is that in some ways the ro- when 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 you see the rocket ship going up, you you start to dream about the stars. Oh, yeah. but you won't okay. actually go there. But you start no. to think that maybe. No, yeah. I don't have to look up. I'm in, I'm already I'm I'm in the front of the. Ro- I'm at the very wait top of it. So I'm you're not the, the fuel. Stars. No, he's the fuel. Oh. <laughs> well, no, 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 but no, 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 but not in what I'm saying. Yeah, right. you're that's saying fine for you to say that. It's just that, perspective. That's, this is a, just two different it's perspectives. It's everybody's perspectives, and Einstein taught us quite a lot about that. And yeah, how they're relative, and yeah, they are. Yes, relative. and what is and, and our just perspectives like we are. are relative. We are relatives. <laughs> relatives, relative theory. Yeah. How? So I wanted to read a poem. Please read it. This is called, and I think this is important because. Um, the way that the way that I think it's related is that it's good for candidates to be vulnerable and talk about some of their vulnerabilities. Mm. Smart. So this is one way that I'm uh, that I if I was a candidate I would do that. I died and God showed me my sins, but when that was done, He put another tape in. This one was the things that I did that made Him disappointed for creating me. Not exactly <laughs> sins, but just times where something I did made God feel kind of weird about granting me a lifespan as a sentient human. And when that tape was over, God said, that's volume one of 50. <laughs> and I knew that on one of those tapes, there was going to be a 20-minute sequence where I ate lukewarm spaghetti out of a plastic bin off the counter and was eating so much so fast that I was getting out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to ask God to fast forward that part. <laughs> and that's Very a candidate. Good. That that is like something that a candidate would do to just kind of demonstrate. That yeah. yeah, I'm just a regular old just guy. A regular like you. guy. Hey, look, I could have a beer with you, or we could eat lukewarm spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, <together>. yeah. <laughs> you know? Exactly. He's after some beers, we could eat some lukewarm spaghetti together. It'll make us want some lukewarm spaghetti. <laughs> oh, It'll make it seem sure. palatable. And it'll make us stop worrying about how we look to each other. By the way, yeah. we do that. got something new you want to try. <laughs> yep. A ranch glove? <laughs> yeah. A little bit of my ranch glove. All right. I sewed it together using th- delicious thread. Thread of, <laughs> Made of, of uh, sinew. I mean, a noodle sounds Animal like it would work pretty good. <laughs> or a noodle. Sorry, yeah. yeah spaghetti like noodles. ranch on noodles. I don't Ew. know. People like ranch on all sorts of stuff. Oh, yeah. Um salad um croutons uh, yeah just like a cereal bowl full of croutons and some ranch on <laughs> some it ranch. <laughs> you talk about I cereal. like the milk <laughs> I like the way, I like the way the croutons you know what you know I what like the is. way the croutons make the ra- <laughs> exactly. the leftover ranch exactly. taste <laughs> the ranch the croutons have the ranch dust on them yeah. but you just put sour cream and yogurt or sa- no it's sour cream and mayo yeah. Oh, in I there, see. and then you mix it all up, and then at the end you get to drink Ooh, down all the ranch. I just, I just like the thinking about sitting <clears throat> at the breakfast table with my wife and saying, "Hey, could you pass the milk?" <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it's just ranch, <laughs> just glug glug, glug glug. That's yeah. a good. Maybe that's a good. Um, Start making two percent slogan. Two yeah. percent ranch. Um, I did have a sort of slogan or, I guess, kind of a radio ad 
um, for myself okay. as well. Yeah. Yes. So I'll just read that real quick, and then we can be done. Thank you. Okay. Golly, I have to use something. <laughs> uh, interesting. <laughs> Your car to go home. The to- the toilet. First. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. I see. To go home. Yeah. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Are you um, okay? So this is my slogan. Are you looking for a leader who's scared of teenagers? Do you think what this country needs is someone who, when his children have their friends over, goes into his room <laughs> and stays there and occasionally asks, "Are they God?" <laughs> Don't you think it's time for a president who's so worried the teenagers will think he's trying to seem cool <laughs> that he hides under his bed and watches Navy SEAL breathing instruction videos to try to calm down? Vote Josh so we can finally have a president who is guaranteed to leave teenagers alone because he's so scared of them. Wow. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That is a big problem with politicians. It's yeah. so a huge po- political I issue. I would yeah. say it's, it would be a great way to, yeah, to Just public set yourself apart. Yeah. It's not that I, it's not that I, um, it's not that I even appreciate teenagers. I'm deathly afraid of them. Right. <laughs> I won't go anywhere near them. They're, they'll freak me out. I'm scared of them. And yeah. I, if I had to meet yeah. Putin's teenage son, that's yeah. going to be bad. I right. could deal with Putin. I'm fine with Putin. Yeah, Putin <laughs> yeah. No problem. Yeah. Xi Jinping Jr.? Xi Jinping. Yeah. Now that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. What, I, and I would daughter? say is. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be his daughter. Just well, kidding. Not his daughter. Yeah. He doesn't have a daughter. Don't be Putin, those kids, anywhere near me. Right. right. Yeah. That's right. true, too. I'm going to be that's Putin true myself too. in my room, locking the door. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Lock the door. Hot box. Hot box. Box or uh, Putin, <laughs> just, just getting kind of like Putin smell. Uh, really yeah, I mean, Putin, Putin is another. Putin oh, I see, yeah. I see, I see what just, you're saying. Yeah. Oh, gross, that's Caleb. Gross. I know. That's it, this is. We actually just kind of try not to do that. Okay, sort of thing. can we say? Let's say specifically. Let's not clip this one. Yeah, yeah. even by accident, this will not be a clip. <laughs> Unclippable. There's no way that Caleb's hot boxing. Mm-hmm. Putin. I mean, he's talking about... Makes you think differently about pooting on the Ritz, you know? Thanks so much for listening. This has been Advanced Answering Techniques. If you'd like us to treat your questions this way, you can send those to advancedansweringtechniques at gmail.com. We're looking for an audio file about a minute in length, although that varies, as you can see from time to time. People send in different lengths of audio files. Yeah. 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 That's okay. This week... fine. Why don't, uh, try not using the dot com part, just to see. Just see if you just do uh, advanced entry techniques at Gmail. Yeah. So send. You'll end up sending two messages. Yeah. Yeah. You are gonna send us one. Just copy one. Yeah. And just say I. I'm trying to send it this other way. <laughs> yeah. Please let me. I want to see. Send it to the one without the dot com first. Right. Screenshot. Yeah. Whatever response you get, attach it to the other one that you're going to send to us, and then send that. I would just like to know. That's perfect. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.